Hello plant junkies, glad you made it. Well we have 12 days till Easter, there is still time to grow a pot of wheatgrass for your Easter basket. This has been about 8 days on this one. This one I planted a few days later and the chickens get into it and there's nothing left. So we're going to replant this one today and you can get a look at the process for growing some wheatgrass into this. It's going to take 7 to 10 days. Truth is, it doesn't really matter what's in the very bottom because the roots aren't going to go that deep. And the wheatgrass is going to be such a fast growing plant, we're going to use it up so quickly that it's never going to penetrate to the bottom of this thing. So we're not going to use the expensive stuff on the bottom, we're going to use something heavy. So if it's really windy, it doesn't tip our basket over. Alright, so that's a mixture of compost, manure, and mulch. We're going to put that in the bottom and then mm, only about the top two inches is going to be potting soil. Now if you watch me regularly, you know this is not my usual potting soil. This is just some I had sitting around. It's got perlite in it, and more importantly, it's got peat moss, which I don't like. Peat moss is not a renewable resource. And here in the southeast, where it stays so humid all summer long, this is going to promote fungus and some other diseases. That's not going to be a problem with our wheatgrass, though, because wheatgrass is so fast growing. It's going to be long gone before this stuff is really a problem. Ooh, I forgot to put in the fertilizer. We don't want the fertilizer right up against the seed because sometimes a heavy fertilizer charge will keep the seed from germinating. So I'm going to take a little bit of this out, smooth it back down, then I'm going to sprinkle in the fertilizer. Back in with the soil. Time for some seeds. This is called hard red winter wheat. I got it in the bulk food section at the health food store. You want quite a bit of it on there. The bigger your wheatgrass gets, the more it sort of starts to choke itself out. So, if you put a lot on there, it'll be ready a lot sooner. But you won't be able to keep it in this pot for very long. So if you're going to juice it after Easter, or you're going to chop it up and put it into your food like parsley, and it won't matter how thick you sow the seed, because you're going to cut it off pretty soon. If you're planning on letting it go until it makes wheat on the top, you'll want to sow it more thinly than this. The next step is vermiculite. It's kind of gold colored. Sometimes you'll see really big pieces of it in potting soil and potpourri occasionally. It holds moisture. We're going to put it on the top to protect the seeds and to keep them a little bit moist to germinate a little quicker. You can use potting soil and put a thin layer of potting soil on the top, but the vermiculite cuts down the germination time by about two days. Now if I wanted to go really fast, I'm going to put it in my car with the windows cracked. But it just so happens that the best place for me to put it is on top of my dryer, which is in the upstairs of my house, and it stays really warm there. That's going to cut down the germination time by another day. This is our finished product. You're right, it's not the same basket. This one is 10 days old. It's been outside in the cold weather for about two days, so it hasn't really grown much in the last two days. If you want to see the progression of it, you can go to kayleeskitchengarden.com and see the article. It has pictures of days 4, 5, 6, and 7. Happy gardening! One of the awesome things that wheatgrass does is every morning the dew settles on the little tips of the grass. Isn't that sweet? 